We're back on the recording. That just All dropped right. out. Google kicked us out. We're back. Nice. We lost nothing. All right. Checking knowledge planes. 27, 28 with the last Mrs. Blessing. You are definitely able to identify the creatures inside as small fire elementals. Little bastards. Mm. Um, they, of course, are uh, inherently neutral creatures, so it's difficult to say whether or not this was the intention or something that's been damaged over time, and they themselves might have popped in here similar to how um, the devils have been popping through the rift siphon. Hmm. Now, did you say it's... there was something besides the two fire elementals? There was well, yes, small... there, there is simply a small fire inside the circle with no particular source. Like, there, yeah. Sorry, no fuel. So a pinpoint window like the uh, rift siphon is, but the plane of no, fire? No, not or... quite. It, it looks just, it's not a pinpoint as far as you can tell. It appears to just be a little flame kind of burning in the room with no wood. It, it would look it would look completely um, natural if it was within a fireplace or something like that. Hmm. Hmm. I don't suppose anyone speaks Ingvin, do they? Ignant, no. I have other useless languages, but not Ignan. Conic. You don't have to comprehend languages or anything. No. What's this door? It's a door. Masaki, do you want to check this door out? No. 20 wounds. It's a door. Oh, awesome. Shall we open it? Is it is it is it locked? It does not appear to be locked. Is it trapped? It does not appear to be trapped. Wow. Let's oh. open the door. That's good. Opening the door? Mm. Yes? Yes. yes. Ugh. You guys. All right. You open the door, and once again, there's a familiar bellow as your light spills into the room, and two more Lemures appear ready to face you. Hooray, Lemures. How many poo monsters are in this place? A lot, apparently. Excrementals everywhere. They like their poo. They're rubbish. Somewhere there's a monkey that's flinging all these poo. <laughs> creatures. 26. Uh, 26. Uh, initiative is 23. 3. 12. <laughs> Oh, the elf, fast as always. Nineteen for Brunsk. Lemures. Oh, roll nineteen as well. Solid. So, we will get to start off with Nearmore. Exploit, 28. Yes. Close. Oop, everybody's coming with me, apparently. Close okay. to the... Um, attack, plus three. Uh, 27. Yes. 10 damage. Respectable amounts. Thanks. It's not bad for a fist, right? Masaki. <laughs> I have to Charge! say my fist. You're charging. Woo! I'm sick of these things. They're stupid and rubbish. Uh, are you power attacking and doing all that wang? Yep. I'm charging. Extra, extra wang. What do you get extra for charging? Plus two. Plus two. Twenty-two. <laughs> yes, yes, you hit. And he's flat footed, so you get yes. you sneak on you this. Do massive amounts of damage. Okay, so this plus <laughs> ah, I'm not typing. Crap. Uh, this plus this. 
the fuck? <laughs> 21 damage. <laughs> the poo is dissolved in the swing of Misaki's sword. Nice work, Misaki. Ah! 5, 10. Please. Please. <laughs> Back there. <laughs> Five, Masaki charges six, through. Three, three, five, three, five, three, five. <laughs> that was cheeky. I like that. It's just sneaking your little character forward. Too bad they can't be demoralized. I like the charge. <laughs> Bruins will just move up there and kind of raise himself with his shield. I love um, that. You've he's got a meat shield. What? What did I name this thing? I think it's Marcy the Mace is what I have. <laughs> Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Oh yeah, because he Mar lost Marsh his hand axe. Marsh is good. I like Marcia, that. It's gonna be. Marcia, Marcia. We have Marsha the the rarely used and often forgotten mace. That's funny. Uh, we, we're gonna have to think of a new name because the next hand axe can't be Heidi. No. Hannah. <laughs> Hilda. Hannah. Ha Hannah the hand axe. Maybe you should have two. Helga. Helga. And then, he can, then he can have lefty and righty. Helga. Oh, Helga's right. pretty good. Nimir charges to Brunsk. Uh, misses him as Brunsk is very ready with his defense. Gary. Gary uh, charges into the middle of the summoning circle. <laughs> yes, because I just want to embrace the fire elementals with my Babies, on my feet as well. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to move up here in case I have to heal somebody. All right. Oh, very good, Gary. Niramore. I shall five foot step. I shall exploit. 24. Yes. I shall yes. flurry. Plus three to these. Uh, natural 20. Uh, 26. Yeah, it's probably... And uh, 27. So that's going to be a total of 20... 12... Tw 20... No, it's actually 31 damage. Oh, with the plus ones, yeah. Yeah, 31. Yeah. The Boom! Take that. Ah, Mr. Lockhart, is what happens when you put one too many poo monsters in front of you. <laughs> you. You guys get very good at killing them, apparently. No, we just get really tired of killing them. <laughs> uh, I like that. that well, that, that's how my rounds of attack should work. Just saying. Is that a normal uh, curtain around the corner? Oh, oh, I didn't really give a description of this room, did I? That's no good. Uh... All right, so an alcove to the south of this empty room is partially blocked by a curtain of red mesh formed from fine steel chains rusty from long exposure. It's only a few seconds from when the Lemures turns ooze that slowly returns back to the hell plains that a squeaky voice appears coming from roughly the area of the curtain. Mm, well done! You have passed the first test! <laughs> first oh. test of the suzerain? Ah, you have heard of me! Oh, God. Annoying he is! the suzerain of Little Erebus. Yes. I promise all of you, as powerful warriors, you will have valuable roles in my kingdom and great riches if you can perform two tasks for me. I wish you to recover two of my foot soldiers that have been captured by my halted enemy, and also to kill my enemy, the fat bastard Lord Baz. Well, done one of those. We may well have done both of those. Yeah, I think we've done them. I saw not the two foot soldiers return to me, but you say you have killed Lord Baz. Have you proof of this task? His uh, wings. He's dead. 
Oh, yeah, he picked his wings up, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, because we wanted proof for Stinky later, so. Yes, we do actually have his wings. What? That's kind of creepy. <laughs> do, do you show them to the suzerain? Uh, uh, well, it might be well, easier if we could see the show suzerain. Show them to the curtain, I guess, or whatever. Or the... are, you, are you going past the curtain? The Wizard of Oz will be behind there. Yeah. That's right. Uh, uh, what? Look behind the curtain! <laughs> Approach the curtain with the wings. Very bravely. Very good. You have completed one of the tasks. However, I must still ask that you retrieve the two bodyguards that he captured to replace those that you have slain as part of the first test. Um, <laughs> well, I'm confused. <laughs> I think his I think his imps killed them. They were having them fight to the death or something. My soldiers are not imps, but Lemures. Uh, I think the Suzerain's imps uh, had them. No, they, they were they were nipple rubbers. Oh, nipple rubbers. Oh, there were the um, guys up in that room. No, there was that room to the north of where that fat guy was that had two lemures in it. We killed those. You killed my bodyguards! How no, dare they? you! They attacked us! Oh, right. Everything in this goddamn place attacks us. Are you going to attack us as well? That was perfect. It was exactly the right thing to say. What? It was. To because... make him attack us. All right. And I <clears> moved <throat> up to the curtain. Great. So, I suppose initiative's kind of wind down to where the suzerain would attack. <laughs> we, uh... are, we are kind of expecting it at this point. Being that every monster on this level seems to be a total ass hat. <laughs> Picture. Except what Stinky. Is... Picture? You want a picture? Picture me, Lockhart. Uh, where's the, where do I have suzerain? Uh oh. Suzerain. There we go. He's like a creepy little limp with shoes. He he appears yeah, to be so well, stuff. very thin, altogether more wiry and taller than the other imps you've seen. Advanced imp. He um. He will actually appear um. Flying above um near near the near the roof of just in front of the curtain. Hmm. Does this be knowledge planes? Well, Maybe. you've seen imps and identified them before. Okay. They suck because they can turn invisible. All right. So let me just get, write this in here. How this high off the ground is he? Um, roughly. 15 feet or so, I imagine. God damn you, suzerain. He will be flying down to attack, though. Good. How pleasant of him. Let's hope he doesn't have fly-by attack, otherwise he might fly back up again. I, I, I suppose technically he'll appear as he's attacking Gary, really. Yeah, because his spell wears off, right? Yeah. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Suzerain. Suzerain, suzerain. I'm immune to that. What, attacking? Uh, yes. I got a thing so, last level. I like that. I got a thing that makes me immune to attacking. Technically, within Gary's square. Oh, he's small, isn't he? Did Tidgy tiny? Tiny, yes. And it's a good thing you guys um, redid that immunity to poison. So, oh, po are they poisonous imps? Their sting is yes. Oh, little yes. devil. So uh, uh, that will hit. Barely. <laughs> On a 28. For six points of damage. Mm. You will pay for destroying my soldiers in my rule of little Erebus. <laughs> Why is everything on this level fucking insane, Lockhart? Because they've been here 10,000 years. All right, yeah. They're outsiders. And I'm half outsider, excuse me very much. You're a native outsider. Oh, yeah, right. Which is kind of oxymoronic. I'm an outsider that's gone native. <laughs> so we have Gary the Elf next. Obviously. You're the offspring of an outsider that went native. Oh, Gary, we're just going to eat popcorn. You kill this uh, thing, right? I, I will sword him. <laughs> sword him. No, I won't. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Gary, it's wonderful. Three. 
So damn good. Uh, uh. <laughs> no. Miramar. I exploit the little bastard. Twenty. Yes, yes, you exploit. I him. move forward to here, I guess. Yep. Actually, why bother? I move. Can we flank something that's tiny in Gary Square? Because technically, just by standing next to Gary, surely I'm flanking him. Depending on where he's buzzing about it there. <laughs> it's odd. You must be able to flank a tiny creature, right? Yes, I'm just not sure if you can do it just by being inside your own square. But if I put myself on the opposite side, Masaki put him on the opposite side of Gary, and he's in Gary's square, technically he's flanked, right? I would allow... I mean, that is technically true. It, it's kind of weird a situation for Gary attacking something in his own square. So I'll move myself opposite. Okay. Opposite. Uh, so I'll pop him down there, then. Yeah, I'll put myself there so Masaki can flank him next round. Okay. Um, I'll grapple him. All right. And I don't have a thing for that. There's an app. CMB, right? Yes. Hmm. Is that so? Is your result a twenty then? No, that sorry, that was for your exploit. Twenty-eight. Yes, yes, you are grappling him. How dare you touch the suzerain? Uh, Misaki. Um, Again, he's technically in Gary's square. How far above oh. us is he? He's in my hand. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can't do a lot. Turn, turn invisible, you little bastard. I'm just I'm, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna hold him like this so you hold can hold by his tail. Yeah. I'll hold him like this so you can cut him in half. Okay. <laughs> I shall cut the little fucker in half. May I do that? Sure. Twenty-three. <laughs> Good one. Yes. Um yeah. Roll roll your Damage. Is she technically? Well, is she technically it's a, it's flanking? Sneak attack too. Yes. Yeah, you're flanking technically. Okay, so twelve plus. Oh, I'm not typing. Why am I not typing? Uh, uh, uh. So seventeen altogether. Nice. And that was silvered. All right. That becomes relevant. Yes, it, it is relevant. Um, so Brunsk. Yes, it is relevant. <laughs> Brunsk moves forward. He tries to hit with Sheila. Oh, that's damage. <laughs> wow. Brunsk is just having a bad day after losing. He is rather. Days. He's a bit upset. He's a bit sad that things have melted. Um, a huge slice across his middle though slowly starting to repair itself. The suzerain looks much more humble. Oh, really? Um, turning his eyes towards Nearmore, he says, Please, please, I surrender! Mercy, mercy! Yes. Very good. He, he cringes and kind of holds up his hands. Good. So he's your vassal now? Gary the Elf. He has to swear allegiance. Uh, I guess I will switch my longsword for my silver dagger. Gary. In case he does something bad. Very good. <sighs> okay, so just switching your sword out? Uh, well, since, since I can't pickpocket all the stuff off him, since I'm not a <laughs> rogue... Uh, you do see a, you do see a little leather bag um, hanging from him. Would you like me to shake him for you? See what drops out. Uh, it will be Nearmore's turn. I pin him and to restrain him and tie him in a big knot. Would you like me to roll for that? Um. No, no, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I think I get a plus so, five. Okay, right. so you have him tied up. He's fully healed. Take all his items. Um, there is there is a little a little bag. Um, Take all his items. 
It contains 11 gold pieces. Oh, really? Over. Hang on, 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 hang on. Party inventory, edit. 11 gold. Yes. Yes, go, go on, you can go. I'm listening. Seven silver. Oh, a whole seven, really. Seven silver. Yes. And a scroll. Uh, of? Mm, Read magic. Magic? Yes. Good. It is a scroll of animate dead. Useful? Not really. Hey, we can animate that bullet. Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah. Next time we fight something that leaves bodies. Gary, are you taking the scroll of animate? Is animate dead on your list? Can you cast it? Uh, yeah, it's a clerical, I believe. So you take it, and I'll take it off the main list. Unless you want to give it to Lindsay, she can technically use it with, uh, use magic device. What's that? A scroll of animate dead. I probably shouldn't have one of those. <laughs> That's probably true. I don't think I really want one of those. Does someone want to make me perception checks? Um, 33. 16. While Gary and Niramor are looking through the bag, Misaki notices that the imp has changed into a spider. Ew! And has flickered out of his ropes. Little shit. Invisible. Ah! Um, he's gone. He turned into a spider and vanished. Who was watching him? And why wasn't he killed? He surrendered. He's a... Why are we killing everybody else and not him? He surrendered. He's evil. Still surrendered. Well, you can go after him then. I'll look past the curtain. Oh, okay. It, it's 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 a room. Um, no one speaks infernal, do they? Yep. No, All right. Not yet. There, there appears to be writing on the walls in some length. However, you can't understand it. Mm. What's it written on? In infernal. No, I mean, as in what what has made the writing? Is it painted? Is charcoal. It... Charcoal. That's awesome, Gary. Uh, sketch it down. Like there, there's literally quite a lot of it all around. Is it like t tiny, tiny impish handwriting? Yes. Gary. Uh, upon, upon some study, you do notice uh, a fair bit of repetition. G Gary. Yes. Do me a favor and wash some of this off, will you? Let's wash <laughs> this room clean and get rid of this infernal writing that <laughs> that imp must have spent many hundreds of years putting here. But it could be valuable knowledge. You, you, oh, have, no, sure you, have, no idea it's, you have no idea it's infernal. You just know that there's writing in here. And it's imp-sized. I'm pretty certain that there's nothing of worth in the writing of this imp, Gary the Elf. Let's wash it clean with your magical waters. Great water on the wall. Ah, look, this place is looking better already now that we've got rid of that useless writing that that imp did. He's definitely gone. Or biding his time. No, he's not that clever. Probably want to go free those fire elementals or something. Sure. Anything else in this room besides the writing? Or former writing? Do we have this room? Uh, a little bed sort of put together of some tattered curtains and stuff. Search it. No. The, the, the curtains have lost their valuableness as now they kind of have this permanent brimstone smell to them. Nice. Nothing that... generally soiled. None of these things have good treasure. No, it's all just stingy. <laughs> what room number is this? Stingy, num stingy this is 452. C3. <laughs> Pio. I guess we could go check out the magic circle. Or we could just walk around it and ignore the um, fire elementals. Um, I need to stop soon because my back's starting to get really sore. Yeah, it might be a good good spot to stop here too. I think we've done almost the whole level, right? Looks like. We've just got the a... We have that corridor from the hexagonal room to the room with the 
the fire elementals, right? right? Well, and the one door below this, unless the room we're in oh, yeah, yeah. extends unless, down to yeah, there. Does, the, does this room connect to that door, Lockhart? Oh, I suppose, yeah, I actually should reveal the room. I, I keep forgetting because I can see it and you guys can't. Yeah, don't do that, Lockhart. We can't see a thing. Sorry. Oh, okay. So, no, it doesn't. So, we have one room left on this level, pretty much. To... Yes, and that corridor. I mean, I don't see why we need to release the fire elementals unless they're you know if, if yeah. you guys want you might be able to do that um last room down here quickly right now and then okay. fill in that corridor and we should have done the level right what room are the fire yeah. elementals in uh it's just that that circle oh Probably the room C... name uh c2 two. Two. and a circle protecting formally protecting something it's it, it's funny how mentioned the e frit uh once these rooms bound a noble Ifridi to this room. <laughs> ah, that's funny. A potent resource Arcanist once used for its wishes and as a guardian. That would have been a bad thing to have to fight. Mm -hmm. Yes. And now it's just a magic circle against Niramor or something. That's right. <laughs> it keeps outsiders out. I'm not going in it. It'll probably keep me in it. That, that would be interesting. Yeah, I wonder how Niramor would be affected by that. <laughs> Technically, I'm affected by that stuff sometimes, I think. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I to pay attention when there's circles against law and good and whatnot up. Yeah, you should. Yeah. Seeing as he's not a person. That's right. I'm not a person. I'm a zero. I'm a nothing. Not a person. I'm right. a null, null, null person. Okay. Let's open do the door. Yeah, open the door. This, this stone door has actually shifted on the hinges and is somewhat stuck. Push it. Hard. Take Push your it time. real good. It's easy yeah. enough to open. Up. I was just gonna say that. What? Nothing. What did he say? <laughs> you went push it, and he went push it real good, and that was <laughs> just about to pop out of my brain. <laughs> what the hell is that? This room is piled high with crumbling remnants of crates, barrels, urns, and casks of all sizes and descriptions. Ooh. Even just a casual search of the chamber reveals that there is a strange contraption that resembles a three-legged, four-armed humanoid made of iron and brass. <laughs> Ooh. Where is are we? Is that what that thing is? How South. Is South. I'm so oh, okay. Detect magic? Uh, give me a second here. Clockwork contraption. Ooh. Ooh, and we have a key. Ooh. Uh, I don't believe they detect his magic. Oh, risky time. Can we, uh... Can we try the Noqual key? Noqual key? Well, if it has a keyhole. Does it have a keyhole? Pulling it out and examining it, you do indeed see that there is a um, keyhole that would seem pretty close to the Noqual key. They might just fit. Shall we? Yay. Yes. One of a shell. It might eat us. Who is, who is turning the key? Do you want me to do it in case it attacks and everybody else can be behind me? Yep. Shall we do that? Or just do you guys want to be in combat with it? Let's uh, do it. Well, why don't we kick it so that I'm let, yeah. <laughs> how, how about that? Yeah. Does that look acceptable to all, or does Gary want to be in combat? Uh, yeah, bring me down. I want to be watching this thing. Yeah. Like that? Sure. <laughs> Not at all threatening. <laughs> all right, I will crank it up. And it's going to imprint on Hal and think it's his mummy. <laughs> well, either that or it's going to eat me. Oh, yeah. You turn the key until it reaches a point where you can't turn anymore. Okay. There is a ticking sound and then a shuddering and the legs begin to move and then it springs up and stands motionless. Ooh. Well, that was useful. Hello? Do you speak? There's a ticking sound. Hello? It's going to explode? Wouldn't that be funny? And we're all surrounding it. Walk forward. Gary, try Thessalonian. Hmm. Lift your arm in Thessalonian. It stands motionless. Where's the instruction manual, Gary? Well, you're the one that used the key. Maybe it'll only respond to you. Well, I've tried. How do I say... I don't know. What should we try to tell it to do? How do I say lift its arm in Thessalonian? 
Uh, make a linguistics check to... Oh, I'm asking Gary. Language. What? What, to actually copy what he's saying? Yes. Isn't it just like three sounds? I'm not going to say it's a very high DC, but still linguistics check. All right. I don't have linguistics, love her. Oh, well, you could turn the key back and have me turn the key and see. But... Intelligence. I'm not even good at that. <laughs> Seven. It stands oh. motionless. Yeah. Do you want to see if you can turn it off and I'll try and turn it on and speak to it? I don't know how we can turn it off. It's clockwork. Right, but you turn the key one way. And... I think we're making an assumption we can talk to it and it's not just broken. Possibly. You can't force a clockwork mechanism against the clockwork. It doesn't work that way. Well, if it's a winding key, you can't. If it's Typically it's a off spring. Switch. It's a spring you're winding up, so you can't really right. unwind it. Okay. What if you take a step back? Will it okay. follow you? Move, move backwards. Move? It stands motionless. Follow me. Make come to me gestures. It stands motionless. Gary, what does follow me in Thessalonian? Mark, 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 mark. <laughs> Sixteen. It stands motionless. Hmm. Is there a remote control somewhere? What kind of what kind of equipment is it equipped with? Is it a combat machine? Is it a tools like working machine? Chisel um, hand. It, it it's difficult to say, but it doesn't necessarily appear. Um, to be hugely combat oriented, um, there okay. is a, a, a net launcher on its shoulder. A net launcher. Yes. Awesome. I try a knowledge engineering check or something on this, or <laughs> sure. Barry, can you figure out how this thing works? Knowledge oh, his that. knowledge history. The thing is, they're just as much, like, almost as unique to what they were made for a purpose. It's yeah, not like there was something mass-produced. Yeah, but there's well, got to be I some kind of... A, say that, there's got to be, like, an accepted knowledge for them, right? Like, golems, they're all kind of the same, but all unique. 17 well, on engineering. Essentially, it's just that it could have what any specific orders uh, to act upon when it's wound up. Uh, so you same. guys, you, you guys haven't done specific triggers for it yet. What else is in this room? Um, searching around, you're able to see that um, apart from the refuge, there are two objects of interest. The first is a brass crank with a pearl inlaid handle. Okay. Um, it, it appears to have a triangular um, shape to the rod of it, I guess. Brass crank with... Pearl. Didn't we have a triangular hole over... On a, on a pillar somewhere, yes. Near the portcullis by the... Uh, yeah, it probably cranks that portcullis open. You sword uh, it, it is somewhat valuable what with being pearl inlaid and could be appraised. Ooh, I can do that. I can do that. Yay! Order my, my praise is kind of awesome, isn't it? Yeah. With the plus five from that medallion. Mm -hmm. I can't believe how big this level is. So what am I doing? What? D20 plus 10. And then plus five on the top of that as well, isn't it? Yeah. Right. And then plus one for the mm -hmm. thingy dog. Jeez. Boom. It's worth a hundred gold pieces. Ooh. It, it might be a bit of an obscure seller to find someone who wants to purchase an antique crank, but it's certainly valuable. We'll, we'll sell it to a gnome. And what's the <laughs> second item of interest? The second is a set of masterwork smith's tools made of mithril. Wow. Also appraisable. Because they're mithril. For this one, can I... I can't do the five again, can I? Yeah, you can. Yeah, it's constant. Yep. 
The fire is constant. That's why that thing's awesome. It, it's a once per day um, identified identify. spell. Yeah. Uh... Gary, we still have a rod you haven't identified as well. I oh, yeah. Oh, but we need to rest before yeah. you can. I've got my thing. Hang on. Uh, uh, Saki Shardbearer is typing. I like how the little last name I gave has been kept. Mm. 28. Uh, Lindsay is favorite player. Uh, all right. The... <laughs> Boo! As <laughs> usual. As always, little dance. The smith's tools are worth 500 gold pieces. Ooh. Nice. Hmm. Okay, they're added to the thing. Uh, anything on this clockwork guy where you like write instructions? Is more searching around, or who is searching the room and picking these things up, essentially? Is that Probably more than Gary, saying Saki? Uh, maybe. She's appraising them, but okay, I guess we we're all looking. Yeah. Hmm. Let's say. Yeah. All right. Watch During this sec. point, Nearmore moves a bit away from the contraption, and it moves forwards towards him. Shall we set it here? So what? It goes to. Follow you. Moves there. So is this thing automated then, do we think? It's just going to follow us around? Maybe. And yeah. do whatever it's trained to do or... Whatever that might be. Or did, it fo or did it follow me because I told it to follow me? Mm. Possible. How do we know? Lock heart. So is that key now embedded in it? Well, I mean, it could be removed, but it does have a slot to fit in. Right. It's just kind of slowly ticking down, I suppose. Okay. Well, should we nothing, just... nothing would stop you from removing the key at any point. Assumedly, it would continue going until it, it finished winding it's down. Cycle, yes. Might be safer to take the key out so that. Because uh, we don't exactly know what it does yet. Yeah, and if it powers down and somebody else takes it, you won't have the key at least. Okay. We'll take the key out. Okay. It continues ticking and standing. So we can. Right now. So let's move on, shall we? Let's go finish that corridor up. All right. We go go around the. Um, the Where thing. Where exactly are you going? Up to the uh, room where the uh, larva the, was. The hexagonal okay. room. The oh, to, the... to do that, we've got to go past that fire blasty trap. I'm confused what you guys are talking about. Uh, directly to the right to finish, of the we're, circle. We're going to complete the map, Lockhart. Uh, so the fire elementals? No, I don't want to go through there. Well, Back up to C1, up, where we... What are you missing on the map, then? The that corridor that comes out of the hexagonal room that we first entered through. Oh, okay. And I'm guessing it connects to the end of that corridor, but I hit gaps on my map. Ah, I see. Once again, I, I have a, a different view than you, so I'm... Oh, okay. Can, okay, I see. So yes, we're missing that corridor, but to get back up there, we have to go past that blasty statue. Yes. Yes. Does your map sense that offended, or is it? Uh... It's pretty offended. But but it could do. And I mean, when we come back out of here, we're going to have to go through this circle or through that. Um... Is there enough room to edge around the edge of the circle to get up above and see down that court? No, it it goes right to the edge of the walls, essentially. I mean, technically, we don't need to go in there, do we? No, we can just leave it. I mean, we can just wave at them and wander on. I mean, they're not blocking anything other than the exit. We can maybe deal with them later. Mm -hmm. So let's head to the stairs. We head to the stairs, Lockhart. Which stairs? The oh, stairs. The ones that are going down over that pool. Okay, so to all right, so the bottom of the map? Yeah. Yes. Does that thing follow me? It does. It follows you basically staying a minute, um, uh, 10 feet away from you, essentially. 
Huh. Can it get over that pole? Um, as you walk past it, it just kind of walks along the bottom of it. This thing's awesome and kind of weird. I wonder if we can load it up with loot. Possibly. So it's got, like, tool hands and a net launcher for capturing can it, carry, can it carry me when I get tired? Sure, you could ride it. Yeah. What should we it call it? It doesn't really hold its arms in a carrying fashion. I don't care. I'll ride on it. Just sit on its shoulders. It might not take much weight. Because that didn't end badly the last time. No. What, what should we call him? Clanky? I don't know. Clanky. That's the best we've got. Cogsworth. Clanky? Cogsworth. It's better than Clanky. Yes. <laughs> Cogsworth is infinitely better than Clanky. Even if it is stolen from Beauty and the Beast. I'm trying to remember the name of the one from um, uh, The Wizard of Oz back out. And there was Tin Plate, the World War Two fighting robot, or World War One fighting robot. Yeah, that one. Deathbot not, 9000. Not the Wizard of Oz. I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful he's called Deathbot 9000. <laughs> uh, can you own a Deathbot 9000? Yeah, sure, as long as it does good stuff. Ooh. I think I just clicked on Deathbot 9000 and now have control of him. He has good hit points. Excellent. Is he yours now? Hmm? Is he yours now? I don't know. He's following us, so I guess we can control him. Well, he's, if you experiment, he's following near more. Yes. Awesome. That's good. We get all the benefits of him without any of the drawbacks. You have no <laughs> idea what the benefits or drawbacks <laughs> are. Exactly. That's right. As soon as combat starts, he nets, nets me and starts to fumble <laughs> with, his, with his hands. He starts to repair everything we do to the... Uh, it it grapples you and tries to remove you from combat and take you to a safe place. Yeah, it would rock <laughs> if he was like a combat robot or something, but I don't know whether he's going to be. Betty's he's probably more like Smith stuff because there are Smith tools. Yeah, but why would you have a net launcher attached to him if he wasn't a combat yeah. robot? Well, he might be, I don't know, animal control. I don't know. I'm just waiting for that imp to appear and then we can wail upon him. Um, you know, of... that, it, it's really bad. I'm, that, that imp's like lawful. Or are they chaotic? They're lawful. So, little devil. He yielded and I accepted that, so he should be you good. You never discussed the terms of the surrender. <clears throat> he surrendered. That's yeah, enough. That doesn't mean you're his prisoner automatically. Oh. If a country surrenders in a war, the whole country isn't a prisoner of the other country. Well, I wasn't suggesting he'd be a prisoner. Well, exactly. So what need should he have to stick around? Well, I didn't have to stick around. Maybe he doesn't hunt me down again, because then I actually will step oh, on his Oh, so neck. you're assuming that he's hunting you down. Assuming I'm... the worst. Mm. Yes, because because the other <laughs> half of the other half of the lawful is 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 evil. Yes, yes. I'm gonna cure light myself. Does anybody else want some? Um, what am I on? Let's see. Well, I have well, one one thing. Uh, one thing about Cogsworth is that yes, he has good hit points, but he's a construct. He can't be healed by Gary's magic. You cast mending, though, can't you? Mending again. I think he's too big for it. Oh, you need make hole, don't you? Cogsworth, I like that. He's kind of angry looking. Yes, tricky. I'm, I'm, I'm sure Misaki can give him a, a paint job or, or decorate him to make him look better. That would be cool. I think Misaki should definitely do that. Um, All right, so we're planning on going down these stairs next yeah, time. Yeah, because birds do that to statues. <laughs> That's funny. Shall, shall we get lots of experience and level to level five now? I believe so. Let me just Woo! check here. Well, which room are we ending in? Just the corridor past that watery corridor. room. Okay, so ending corridor. Uh, just past the pool room. Yeah, pool cool. C24. 24. All right. We're gonna to have to rest soon. Not really. Um, I guess the, the question is, how um, is Gary doing for spells? I'm actually not doing too bad. I've only used two two uh, L ones and a L two, so I've got a few left. <laughs> or not? 
He's because he's been walloping stuff with his sword. All right. It's because burning hands is never an appropriate spell when they're immune to fire. Yeah, I gotta say, it hasn't been yeah. recently on this level, has it? Not since we left the swarms behind. Right. In the previous so, level. so technically, Lockhart, that, that that ring of fire up there, mm -hmm. I doubt we're actually ever going to walk through it. Mm -hmm. So do we technically encounter it or not? No. Um, no. Um, no. No. Unless we want to try and, you know, push push at it to see, you know, if it protects yeah. against one of us or something, you know. You, you, you haven't encountered it. You have no idea what the circle does or what's inside it, aside from that some creatures. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure it keeps those fire elementals in. But you don't know that. It's a guess. You haven't taken time to explore that hypothesis. You've not well, encountered it. I'm seeing yeah. a good amount of lag on the video. Well, yeah, a little. Yeah. So, first not of all... lag, it's just all of us moving slower because we're tired. <laughs> first of all, for 800 experience is the Hellhound. I forgot about him. For a total of 1,200 are three flesh drains. 1,200 each. Total of 1,200. I wish. 12 For a total each. of 1,800 is three sin spawn. Nice. 1,200 for a gray ooze. Nice. 800 for two Lemure there. 800 for another two Lemure. 800 for the suzerain. And 800 7,400. For... Activating Cogsworth, the Clockwork Servant. Ha! Huh. Nice. Bring me tea! Gives us a total of 8,200. That's good. Divided by three is 2,733 experience. Mm, 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 mm. What's that giving us? Time. Which takes us to... Those... Two thousand was it two thousand seven hundred and thirty-three. So sixteen oh four two. Nice. Next level two twenty thousand. Ugh. No, that's, that's that's something obscene like that. Twenty-one thousand. 23,000. Oh, that, that's here, Here's the jump. Right. 23? Wow. That's yeah. good. Here's where, here's where the experience jump starts happening. Yes. Five's, five's a pretty decent level, though. Lindsay Sneak goes up. We get a feat. Yeah, I, I don't get much besides the feat. I get a feat and I get another level two. I think I'll be taking weapon specialization unarmed. <laughs> and why not, right? And I think I become okay. immune. I become become immune to fatigue at this level. Mm. And I also get the very useless skill high jump. Okay, you never know. High jump. Yeah, you're right. It adds it adds like bonuses yeah. to acrobatics when no jumping. mystery spell for me. No? You get you still get your normal spells though, right? Do your spells go up at this level? I get one uh I no, I get one uh one more second level spell a day and oh, I learn one more uh one more first and one more second level cleric spell. That's not too bad. No, no uh I don't know whether Lindsay gets any wang for being a sword master at this level. I don't know. Well, she'll, she'll get enough just with a sneak attack and the feet, I think. I mean, good, goodness, goodness knows, you have been pulling off those sneak attacks quite often, and that damage adds quite a bit. Yeah, a, 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 perhaps perhaps yeah. A decent, the decent feet might be improved initiative. She's been killing stuff off, out the door. That's true. Improved initiative might be a good one to get you moving faster there. Just the initial sneak attack at the gate might be enough. Yeah, because I'm, I'm not and to be faster, faster than near more. Yeah, but then I could get improved initiative. Do you not have improved initiative? Nope. Hmm. I have traits and stuff that add to my initiative. Uh.
of whatever the opposite of improved initiative is. What what is your initiative, Hal? Just has just low dex. It's plus eight. I have to figure out how. Hang on. Because you're not a high dex character. No, I'm not. I may have been miscalculating my initiative. Hang on a second. Mm -hmm. I kind of thought that had improved initiative in it somewhere. I think it may have had. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh dear. Hang on. Yeah, I may have been stiffing you, kid. As it was. So you've only been having a plus four initiative since session one. Oh, who's the big cheater now? Oops. Yes. Oops. <laughs> Oh. oh well, I had to, I had improved initiative and I switched it for toughness. I, I think I remember you doing that. I was saying no, that. no. If you actually look, you can see where I rubbed it out. <laughs> so obviously I calculated and then didn't recalculate. My fault. Let me readjust my initiative and get slower. <laughs> Both people level and get better. How levels and gets worse. I don't want to get worse. Where are we initiative? <laughs> Okay, yeah. I'm gonna go. Right. Hang on, yes, I've just got, go. I've just got slower. <laughs> All right. So shall we, shall we call it here and? Yes. Thank you, Lockhart. Thank you. Bye all. Bye. Bye.